Hi guys, welcome to Punch Perfect Fitness. Today's video is gonna be going over a little bag routine. If you've got a bag at home, if you're lucky enough to have a bag at home or a floor to ceiling ball. Floor to ceiling ball, it costs about 15 quid off Amazon and it'll probably come uh, within a couple of days. So if you haven't got one, it's worth having because you can just hook it up on uh, even a door frame, hook it up there, weight it down at the bottom, or you can bring it outside like me, put it on a tree, anything, it's definitely worth the purchase so if you can get one get one if you've got a bag you can do this on a bag give it a go uh, remember to like subscribe and share the channel yeah thank you guys okay guys so first round just want you on your jab get your jab going nice and relaxed triple it double it singles Keep moving around the target. Make sure you're not just standing in one place. Try and make sure that your other hand is in a good defensive position as well. So it's not dropping too low. You're not rowing when you throw your jab. Sometimes the right hand can drop or Superman back if people are reaching for their punches. So just try and keep that nice there. Think about where it is going to be in a good posi uh, defensive position. next round we're looking at head movement so once you've punched try and get that head moving off the target off the line say different angles of the head and you can do it before you punch after you punch just make sure that you're emphasizing head movement in this round uh, every especially after punching again like the first round make sure you're moving around the target changing your angles of attack just staying at one position and mix up what way you go with the head so don't always go one two slip the same way try and mix it up now we're going into long range round three so now we're going to keep the punches nice and long full extension one two straight down the middle just to try and keep that bounce in that step like nice and relaxed boxing remember this guy that you're fighting now just imagine that he's a strong opponent you can't set, uh, set your feet for too long because that's what he wants he wants to, you to stop so he can throw his punches once you keep moving that's it you keep keeping him off balance you're keeping him moving next round we've got inside work so round four so everything quite short here just short punches especially if you're on the bag i want you using the body as well, going to the body as well obviously here i can't go to the body but on a bag i'd be going to the body head mixing it up keeping them short shots in there bent arm shots again rolling moving the head different angles and moving around the target try and keep those hands nice and high on the inside again blocking pretend you're blocking as well slipping rolling and coming back nice short shots So this round now, whatever you, your normal stance is, so for me I'm an orthodox, now I'm going to go for the whole round in the southpaw position. Again nice and relaxed, just work in practice, uh, play around with it. If you're not used to it and it's not natural, just play about with it. No tension in the shots, again obviously on a floor to ceiling ball like I'm on now, it's more about trying to work the bag rather than land any big shots like, like I could on a heavy bag. Try and keep everything nice and sharp. Technique as well on point. Make sure whatever punch you're frying, the other hand's in a good defensive position. So now we're going punches in bunches. Think of people like Manny Pacquiao, someone like that, Joe Calzaghe. So nice, um, fast punches. No less than three each time. Threes, fours, fives try and get them nice and sharp accurate punches and again changing your angle on, on the bag or floor to ceiling ball again it's really important that you practice that this is an opponent not just a just in one position make it as realistic as possible keep it nice and sharp nice and straight if you can some of them little short shots every now and then mix it up and again in and out play around with it 
So now we, this round we're going to try and end every little combo on a hook. So I'm going for one, two hook with, uh, when I'm trying to throw the lead hook. And I'm going to go three and then a right hook at the end when I try and land that right hook. Again, hooks on floor to ceiling balls are quite awkward to throw. Um, on a heavy bag, you'll probably throw, uh, find it a lot easier. But just work with it, play with it and practice getting that technique right. So round eight now is going to just be slowing it down slightly and more technique focus. So just trying to make sure that your feet are, are turning in with that right hand and left hook. Uh, make sure that your jab's coming out nice and sharp, coming back to its start position. No deviation in the jab or the hand position. And again, making sure that your defensive hand, whatever one you're not throwing, is in, always in a good position, ready to defend. Try and keep it nice and sharp, relaxed. But again, slow it down this round and focus more on the technique of the shots. Round nine is Philly Shell, so Mayweather style here. Try and practice it if you've never practiced it before. Work on things, get used to doing it. Again, you're going to be blocking with the shoulder, uh, the backhand, parry. And obviously here you, your jab is sort of a little bit less active because it's coming from a low position but you can still work the jab like how I am now but just make sure that you're not leaving your chin exposed when you are try and keep your yeah, chin tucked down behind the shoulder and keep every shot coming back nice and sharp again moving around the target don't stay in that one position Last round, round 10, is counter punching. So every time I want you to just imagine you're blocking or slipping or rolling and you're coming back. Every time they throw a shot, you are, you react to it and you come straight back. So that the art of counter punching is it's very fast. It's fast reactive shots. As soon as you block one, you come back. So practice that. As soon as you parry a shot, you jab. You might come back with a right hand over the top. Block, come back. Slip, come back. Roll, come back. Nice and sharp keep moving around the target as well.